I have seen people petrified of moving into a second marriage. I've seen people who, who just walk through life in a relationally tentative way. For some reason, I've been seeing panic attacks everywhere, and I don't know exactly why. I don't know if they're on the increase. What fear is saying is that things might be okay for this particular moment, but I know that it's going to get worse. Fears and anxieties are a prediction of the future. To have our fears eradicated by the twelfth time we say the right verse, it, there would be absolutely no reason to learn the skill of trusting in God in easy times and in difficult times. But one of the things we sometimes don't realize is that people who are very fearful, the more isolated a person feels from both God and from other people. So one of the ways the body of Christ is so essential is just to continue to orient us to a God who he really does hear. Brother, sister, I know you're struggling, but I know, I know for sure he does hear you. And so continue to call out and I'll call out with you. Sometimes we would like the scripture to do magic on us, but God has a much better plan than that. It's this slow, steady growth and, and development. When you have an opportunity to see the Spirit working, uh, even in subtle ways in a person's life, it's just plain invigorating. It's a privilege and an honor to be able to, to walk with people, uh, recognizing that the Lord does speak to us. How can we find together what he says? And then once we hear what he says, how can we apply that in ways that truly go deeply into, into our hearts?